Hi guys, it's Crazy Coupons. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the PNG spin deals, and we have so much to talk about. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's right down below this video. And while you're at it, do your girl a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button and leave me a smile down in the comment section below because those are two quick, easy, and free ways that y'all can help support this channel. And then take a second to share the video. All right, guys. Now, first up, just in case you missed it, I have already uploaded a bunch of other DG videos for you all this week. We have new clearance markdowns, a penny list. We have surprise pennies, 90% off clearance, 70% off clearance. We have run glitches, huge overages, plus we have a gigantic glitch list with over 50 coupons and items that are glitching this week at Dollar General. Plus, this morning, I uploaded a new video going over the Dollar General clearance event which is going to start this Friday. So if you've missed out on any of those videos, make sure that you go and check them out. They're all going to be linked for you in the pinned comment down below. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into some of the craziness that is going on at Dollar General this week. Now, as to my knowledge, everybody received a 5 off 25 and a 10 off 40 DG store coupon. These coupons are for this Saturday only. Now, we are not going to know what is going to stack and work with what until Saturday morning. I do plan on going into the store and testing out a lot of different things. So make sure that y'all stay tuned and turn on those notifications. You might want to hold off until I make a post and let you guys know what I found out. But in the meantime, I do have a couple of things that I wanted to share with you all. Number one, if you do plan on going in and doing a big spend 40 deal or using this 10 off 40 DG store coupon, I would not clip your five off 25 because it is very likely that that five off 25 will come off first and you may not get the 10 off 40. Unless, of course, everything stacks and works together on Saturday, but again, we will not know until Saturday. Now, I also want to make sure that everybody knows that the 5 off 25 and the 10 off 40 are printing on the bottom of the receipts this week. All right, now moving on to our next coupon. We did receive a 5 off 30 gain DG store coupon. Now, I do believe that this will stack and work with the 5 off 25 or the 10 off 40 on Saturday, um, but again, make sure that you have those paper coupons just in case. Now, unfortunately, Unfortunately, as far as the PNG spin deals go, it does not look like the PNG spin deal will work and stack with this 5 off 30 gain DG store coupon. Now, your girl has spent some money this week, so I hope y'all are hitting that thumbs up button because I believe I'm about $60 in with all of these spin deals and trying to figure out what's working, what's not working, and how we can save the most money. So, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button for me because I've sacrificed a few dollars this week okay <laughs> so here's what I ended up doing I went into the store to try and stack the spend 40 with the 5 off 30 gain coupon however once I got up to the register the gain coupon worked perfectly all the coupons came off it was beautiful however once I had completed my transaction that $10 coupon never showed up and my spend 40 coupon was still on my account so those two did not stack did not work together it is possible that it might work with some of the lower value PNG spend coupons maybe if you have a spend 10 get back three that is possible However, just be careful and be aware that your girl already tried it by the book. I double checked my math and in theory, it should have worked. However, I did not receive the $10 back. Now, if anybody was able to get this to work with one of those spin coupons, please let me know about it down in the comments section below. You can also reach out to me on Instagram or via email. All that information is in the pinned comment down below. Now, let's talk about these spin coupons specifically. So, as far as I know, there are four different spin coupons out there. A spin 10, get back three. A spend 20, get back 5. A spend 30, get back 8. And a spend 40, get back 10. And some accounts received more than one PNG spend coupon. So if that was you, please let me know about it down in the comments. Now, with these coupons, they have glitched in the past for us, but a lot of times they will not glitch. And we actually have to spend the spend amount out of pocket after coupons have been applied. However, this time around, it is in fact glitching and it is working in our favor. So we're gonna kind of treat this like our five off $25 scenarios. So we're gonna build our transaction up 
to our spend amount, whether that is spend 10, spend 20, 30, or 40, then you're going to subtract all of your coupons, pay a somewhat low out-of-pocket. Some of these deals are really good, especially if you have those lower spend coupons. Um, but even the spend 40, we still have some really good deals with that coupon. And then you are still going to get back your dollar amount coupon. That's going to show back up on your account as a digital coupon that is already clipped to your account. Now, with the coupon that you receive back, I also want you all to know that that coupon is also glitching. Typically, we have to spend those coupons on P&G brand products. However, this time around, those coupons are working on anything in the store. So you do not have to spend that coupon on a P&G product. However, there is a catch because like I told y'all before, your girl made a few sacrifices for everybody this week. So please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, all right? So the catch is, is that that coupon is only going to apply to one item. Let me give you all an example. I went into the store, I picked up some cat food, which was about eight bucks, and two frozen pizzas, which were $4 each. It only applied to the last item that was rang up, which was a $4 pizza. So the $10 coupon only took off $3.99. So the full $10 was not applied to my entire transaction. It only took off that $3.99. So I basically lost out on $6. So for you all, do not make the same mistake. Uh, whatever your coupon amount is that you're getting back, $3 off of a 301 purchase, $5 off of a 501 purchase, so on and so forth. Pick up one item that is more than that coupon is worth. And I would do that in a separate transaction all by itself just to play it safe. Now, I did notice on the DG app that if you add a few items into the cart, the full amount will apply. So if you would rather do that as a pickup order and spread out your eight or $10 coupon over a few items, you can do it that way. All right, now I don't want this video to be too awfully long. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of deals that you guys can do all week long. And keep in mind, you can adjust it depending on which spend coupon you received. So for this first one, you want to pick up one of the Tide Light Pods at $9.95, two of the Gain Power Blast at $4.75 each, two of the Dawn Power Wash Refills at $4.50 each, one Febreze Warmer at $3.25, one Febreze Fabric Spray at $4, one of the Always Discreet at $3.25, two of the Oral-B and Crest Products at $1 each, one of the Vicks 20 Count Cough Drops at $1, and one of the Airwick Clean Linen 2 Count Refills at $6.25. And that's going to put your subtotal at $48.20. Now, keep in mind that Airwick at the bottom, that is not a PNG product, so that will not count towards your spend amount. Now here is the list of coupons that you're going to need for this transaction. That is going to leave you paying $16.62 out of pocket for 12 items, but since we are doing the spend 40 deal, you're going to get back a $10 coupon. That's going to make your final price $6.62 for 12 items, making each one just about 50 cents each Plus, you have $10 to spend on anything that you need. Now, this next deal is a spend 30 deal. However, you can add a couple items, subtract a couple items, whatever you need to do to make it your own. For this one, you want to pick up one of the Gain Laundry products at $7.50, one of the Gain Dryer Sheets at $4.50, two of the Dawn Power Wash Refills at $4.50 each, one for Breeze Warmer at $3.25, one of the Always Discreet at $3.25, two Oral-B and Crest products at $1 each, one of the Vicks 20 Count Cough Drops at $1, and one Airwick 2 Count Linen Refills at $6.25. And that's going to put your subtotal at $36.75. Again, keep in mind the Airwick does not count toward the spend amount because it's not a PNG brand product. Here's a list of the coupons that you're going to need for this scenario. That's going to leave you paying $10.96 for 10 items, but you're getting $8 back. That's going to make your final price $2.96 for 10 items. And man, that is a fantastic deal. Now, out of all that information, we still have one question that remains, and that is what is going to happen on Saturday? Well, unfortunately, I can't make any promises and I'm not going to make any predictions. We're all going to cross our fingers and we're going to hope that some of this stuff stacks up and works together. What I can promise you is that I'm going to be up bright and early Saturday morning at Dollar General trying out some deals for us. So before you go, make sure that you do all the things. Subscribe, turn on those notifications, hit that thumbs up button and leave me a smile down in the comment section below. All right, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you on the next one.